That was suspiciously fast. You sure it works now? Uh, Mr. Renier, sir, we have a situation. I'm kind of in the middle of something. Well, it's more of an emergency, actually. Some ticks have gotten loose in the basement, and, uh... A what got out of what now? It was an honest mistake. I was taking the liberty to experiment with some ticks we captured, and things got out of hand. Mr. Jesse, before you go all red and do that angry maniac thing you do, maybe we could consider it a great opportunity. You make it so hard to like you, Verge. I... You know that, right? Remember that fortuitous gauntlet malfunction that helped you and your father survive? Turns out that that malfunction is a simple override protocol. One you can now control thanks to, well, me. You're welcome. This better work or there's going to be a gauntlet malfunction on your face. I ain't got time to be cleaning up every mess you nerds make. Please don't tell Dr. Blackwell about this. Mr. Renier? some kind of havoc in the basement. I can't thank you enough for your help, sir. Ticks in the basement, Bloom? Are you out of your mind? Sorry, sir. It, it was only for research purposes, but it got out of hand. Won't happen again, sir. I promise. Dr. Blackwell is waiting for you upstairs. I don't know, Amelia. It felt kind of right to be out there, working side by side. Oh, you should have seen us. Yeah, it's a boy thing. I get it. This just came in. It's from Agent Gravener. Good or bad? Private. Oh, uh. Speaking of bad, I found a giant ancient cadaver in Baxter. Any idea why Tix would want to hide it? A few. Why isn't Agent Bloom allowing anyone in to see your father? Security, Doc. Calico's the last working cell in the country, and we mean to keep it that way. That means closing a few doors? Well. So be it. But I'm a medical professional and the head of this cell. So a chain of command shouldn't be an issue for you. It isn't, sir. Emilia, you don't have to get all... I'd prefer Dr. Blackwell, sir. Ready for debrief whenever suits you best. <sighs> oh, there you are. Well, let's skip to the things we're here for, shall we? The creature you found in the Devil's Pass is essentially an oversized leech, a bloodsucker of sorts. Its stomach acids prevent blood from coagulation. So it's like a living container? Precisely. Moreover, according to microscopic analysis, the blood within the leech is remarkably old. It's not only that, it isn't like anything we've ever seen. And Felicity feeds it to her familiars. Ah, I gotta learn more about that sawmill and how it's all connected. The McCallum Sawmill was founded in 1845 by Elijah McCallum, the definition of a small town family operation. After Elijah's death two years ago, the mill was bought out by an investor representing the Andalusia Financial Services Group. Conglomerate of banks, oil fields, railways, you name it. What does a big fish like that want with a shitty little sawmill on the ass end of nowhere? It's unclear. 
purchase itself was entirely above board. What about the forest? Old native ritual sites, burial mounds, anything? Nothing a note, no. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this out on my own then. Thanks for your time, Dr. Blackwell. I, I live to serve, sir. I'll get back to my research now. feeling about this. Ooh, our zapper's acting up. The glamour must be near. source of the glamour. This must be it. The source. More disgusting than I even imagined. The glamour's probably secured by more of these ugly tumors. We need to take them out to destroy the illusion. Another ancient beast we can use against our enemies. Its blood is more primitive, purer. Its birth, I believe, dates back to pre-colonial times. This is what connects us all. The source of all power resides in the blood. Blood and these ugly critters again. It's getting weaker now. Probably there's one or maybe two sources more.
Someone just spent thousands to take possession of this shit hole, but it looks abandoned. This machinery hasn't been used for ages. That's something's fishy. Bet the answer's hidden behind that glamour. children. You were sick, weak, and poverty-stricken. Dirt poor peasants living simply to survive, bound by pain, clinging to a pointless life. Your only ambition was to pass that suffering onto your young. But now that you have decided to accept my gift, you can leave all that pain and fear behind. I gave meaning to your blood. And blood is everything. I hear you waiting, creeps. Let's check this beauty out. That was the last source. Let's see what you're hiding there. Jeez, that damn smell doesn't bode well. Let's take a look, see.
Every last one of the workers here. Alive and pumping blood. Got a bad feeling about its source. flourishes by feasting on its blood. It's exactly how you described it. Ancient, unique, pure. This is the missing element that'll accelerate the change. Combined with my blood, we can create a perfect progeny, bound with my will and ambition. Your life's work will be complete. They'll all see we were right to act now. If you can't change people, change the world and force them to adapt.
protecting. This forest, the more bloodshed I see. That's never a good sign. single tree is covered with those damn leeches.
ancient beast. Fucking great. Doesn't look to be long dead. That's a hell of a tooth. A trip into its guts. Great.
So this is where those beasts get their magical blood from. Once that ancient fella and Baxter was sucked dry, she found you, huh? Christ, I'm starting to hate mythology.